hey guys so in this video i'm gonna be doing a quick one so i wanted to do the chrome nails that i've been seeing everywhere it's like 3d chrome i'm gonna put pictures up if you haven't seen it but i'm seeing it all over tiktok and i wanted to try it i could have swore i had chrome powders but i couldn't find any so i ordered this one off amazon i have a born pretty gift card and i wanted to use it for this but couldn't wait for it because i wanted to try this design asap if you can hear noise, it's rain. It's raining really bad where I am. So hopefully it's not too distracting. I'm not gonna swatch every single one of these. There's so many in here. I pretty much wanted one that had a gold and a silver. I don't, I think this was the silver one. It doesn't actually look very silver. However, when I was looking at the reviews, they said this is the silver one. The rest of them are kind of like the mermaid shimmers and then I think this is the rose gold. I pretty much only wanted these two and these are just pretty much a bonus. I like how it comes with so many applicators but let me get started with the nail set. I applied my tips off camera. I didn't do it any special way. What I did do was I used the press on sticky tabs and I put it over my rubber base gel nails and then I just stick the press on on top of it and it literally doesn't go anywhere it's so weird the adhesion is a bit scary but this is how i've been applying my nails recently i'm gonna paint these with bean town but i'm gonna do it off camera because i didn't warm this up and it's super thick so i'll be back when i'm done painting my nails so i've painted on bean town now i'm gonna go in with a matte top coat because when i apply the chrome i don't want it to stick to the polish because there is a slight tacky layer i did wipe this down but it's still somewhat tacky so to avoid the chrome sticking on the polish i'm just going to apply some matte top coat so i have cured my matte polish now i'm going to get some black nail polish and i'm going to do some sort of wavy abstract french design because i feel like i've been doing french a bit too much how i've seen the design is that it's usually like a off to the side type of french so i'm pretty much just going to go off the top of my memory, I'm not going to look at the pictures. I want to see what I can come up with. It's probably going to look like the pictures, but let me hurry up and get into it. The black I'm going to be using is the Perfect Black from Madame Glam. And I'm just going to use this to draw the French and then fill it in once I'm done. Whilst I do this, I'm going to give you a story time. I was speaking that whole entire time thinking I was recording, but I wasn't. But anyways, it's not necessarily a story time. It's more of like, what would you have done in that situation? But um, I did some PR a few weeks ago. If you look for it, you're not going to find it because I privated the video. But um, this company that I had never heard of reached out to me and wanted me to promote some of their stuff. And I was like, sure. And they were willing to pay. So I gave them my rates and they were like, yeah, we're not trying to pay you that. And I was like, um, okay so we met in the middle type of thing and they sent me the stuff i made the video pretty quickly and then once i was done with the video i sent them the video they were dead silent i didn't hear anything from them so i decided to email them again just as a follow-up to be like hey did you get my email because i know sometimes emails just they don't always go through so i wanted to be courteous i didn't want to come at them sideways from the jump so they didn't respond and i was like okay so literally a few days ago i get an email from them and they're like oh we saw your video we really like it send us the video but with no edits so i initially went and watched the video and was like what edits was i putting in here was i putting in memes like what was i doing and in the video the only thing that i had put in was i think it was like a subscribe type of thing and then I had misspoke one time so I put the, the captions, the correction in the video and that was literally it. So I asked them, I was like, what edits are you talking of? And they were like, we just want the plain unedited version. So I read it and was thinking to myself, yeah, I'm not about to send them my video. Like I had gone back and read the initial email just to make sure that I didn't miss that that was a part of the requirements, but it, it wasn't one of the requirements. I was like, yeah, you're not getting my video and um a few days went past and i was like i'm gonna <laughs> i'm just gonna email them back and see what happens so i lied and was like 
oh you know the file's too big to send and the thing is it's not fully a lie because the video is long and the file will be just far too big to send over email anyway so they ended up replying and sending me <laughs> they sent me this weird i don't know it was like an information booklet type of thing pretty much with instructions telling me how to send a big file over email and i just immediately closed the email i was like yeah no i'm not doing this <laughs> like and i even forgot to mention at this point they haven't even paid me and at this point you're asking for my content there was no prior agreements to oh when i'm done with my video then i send it to you like that was not a part of the deal that then becomes the whole perpetual usage right thing which is them having your content and being able to use it whenever they want so i'm not interested in that whatsoever like apologies if this video is all over the place i can't talk and do my nails at the same time well i should say i can't talk and paint my nails at the same time i'm literally going back and forth with a brand right now and hold on i have to pause for this one they looked at my tiktok they were like we want you to promote something your numbers are looking good we're willing to pay what's your rate i told them my rate they then said we looked at your account and you don't have the right numbers to be paid like at all so i emailed them back and was like did you forget who you emailed because you literally came to me i stopped entertaining them because i was just like you know what you guys are getting on my nerves and i don't want to be unprofessional here and then say something that i later regret but that is pretty much it for my rant i try not to rant too much because i will go on and on forever and get myself worked up and then you guys will be like what the heck <laughs> But on a more positive note, I can't wait to start doing Valentine's Day nail sets. I'm seeing lots of really pretty stuff right now and I just can't wait to replicate some of them. Now I'm just going to fill in the tips of the nail. Now I'm going to create the 3D lines and I decided to throw in a quick Enel Couture haul. I got my order from them and I'm actually going to be using one of the things in here which is this and it's called the Dom Top which is this and it's pretty much a really thick um, top coat like it's super thick. And I figured I'd use this because it would create a thick line and make the 3D effect pop more. I also got some of the shiny star top coat. I cannot live without this, so I had to get some. I also got some of these Lux brush wipes and I saw this on Sandra Sparkly sets. She swears by it. This whole entire time I've been doing my nails, I've been using these and it doesn't leave the lint on your nails i have lint wipes from shein that absolutely suck you can only use them lightly if you rub too hard the lint starts falling off and just packing onto the nails but these are pretty good i wish i would have got more of these in here is a cuticle oil and i can't find my scissors so i'm gonna open this off camera i had to get some of this cuticle oil because it is my favorite it's not one of the overly oily ones and it doesn't smudge too much all over stuff when i touch things afterwards and it smells great i just need to smell it because the smell of my old one is wearing off not gonna lie i like how they packaged it because when i got it last time there was a crack which i was sad about because this packaging is really cute so anyways back to the nail set I'm going to be putting some of this Dom Top onto my palette and I'm going to just draw lines using this. I'm not 100% sure how I'm going to do this, where I'm going to put the lines. I don't want too much lines because with this design, when the 3D effect is a lot, I don't think I like it very much. I'm thinking of just going around the border first. 
Oh, this is going to be so hard to do and speak at the same time. Might just have to put some music over this part. So I'm gonna do the rest of these off camera just where the black and the bean town meet and so then I'll be back to show you where else I put the lines so I couldn't figure out a pattern but what I'm gonna do is follow the shape of the first line and then just repeat it upwards this is how it's looking after I've added the other lines it kind of reminds me of croc print nails I don't know it just gives me that vibe. It also reminds me of leather for some reason. It's kind of got this, <laughs> this kind of look to it. But I'm going to actually do the chrome on my thumb. Just to see how long I should cure the top coat for. Because my issue with chrome has been, I don't really know what time to cure the chrome at to make sure it sticks. Sometimes it works at like 15 seconds. It just really depends on the top coat. And because I'm going to be using my shiny style top coat, which I've never used for chrome before, I'm going to try it on the thumb and see how it turns out. For the attempt on the thumb, I cured the shiny style top coat for 15 seconds, then I applied the chrome. But I realised here that it wasn't giving that mirror finish. I also realised that the lines weren't popping so much, so I added some more dom top to the rest of the nails. For my second attempt, I read that you should wipe your nail after you put the non-white top coat on the nail and then that should give you the mirror finish so i'm about to find that out right now so i have 90 percent alcohol yeah 90 percent alcohol that i'm rubbing on the nail now i hope this works because that'd be such a game changer and you gotta let it dry of course now for the moment of truth i don't know if this is gonna work um I mean, it's burnishing in. Oh, it is working. It is working. Oh my goodness. Yes, look at the difference. Look at the difference. Wow, all I needed was a little bit of alcohol for this whole chrome thing to work out. I can't believe this works. I'm gonna do the rest and I'll be back. The key is to cure your top coat for about half the time, wipe it with some alcohol and really burnish this in and you'll get that mirror effect i've never seen the mirror effect before because every time i've tried chrome it turns out this way this way is nice but this is what i'm looking for but i can't believe it worked and i'll be back so i've rubbed it all in i top coated this one just to see how it would look as you can see there's a difference this one the middle finger looks kind of like more true to how gold would look but i don't hate the top coated version i just I think I like this one a little bit more. I unfortunately couldn't get the excess powder off. So what I'm doing is I'm using a Q-tip and I'm going around it ever so carefully to get rid of it. I'm going to try and do it on camera. But I'm just kind of going around the sides and just cleaning up that excess that doesn't want to brush away. Here is the finished result. These kind of remind me of gladiator sandals. Although this isn't necessarily the best set, I did want to try and master this because I have something else coming and I needed to make sure that I got chrome down before I did that set. So this, if anything, is like the practice set. But let me know what you guys think of the 3D chrome nail trend. I know it's not new, but I'm seeing it a lot more and I wanted to try it out. If you enjoyed this video, like, comment and subscribe and thank you for watching.